Mac Davis, the writer of Elvis Presley's In the Ghetto and a former ACM Entertainer of the Year winner, has died. He was 78 years old. Davis died on Tuesday, September 29th, surrounded by his family, just one day after news broke that he was critically ill after undergoing heart surgery in Nashville. His manager of more than 40 years, Jim Morey, originally shared the news of Davis's decline and announced his death late Tuesday night. Quote, he was a music legend, but his most important work was that he was a loving husband, father, grandfather, and friend. I will miss laughing about our many adventures on the road and his insightful sense of humor. When there was a tough decision to be made, he often told me, you decide, I'm going to the golf course. To quote from his song, I Believe in Music, I could just sit around making music all day long. As long as I'm making my music, ain't gonna do nobody no harm. And who knows, maybe I'll come up with a song. And he did, time after time. I'm Addison Hager for Taste of Country, and give this video a thumbs up, letting Davis's family know you're here for them. And then if you have any kind words of encouragement or condolence, leave them in the comment section below. The famous songwriter born Morris Mack Davis was born in Lubbock, Texas on January 21, 1942. Davis graduated high school early and moved to Atlanta, Georgia, where his mother was living following his parents' divorce. He knew the music industry was his sweet spot, and after forming a rock band and working at a couple of record labels, Davis began his songwriting career as part of Nancy Sinatra's Boots Enterprise Incorporation. He also played in the studio and live with Sinatra during this time. After writing songs including In the Ghetto and A Little Less Conversation for Presley in the late 1960s, Davis went on to enjoy a country crossover career of his own thanks to songs such as Baby Don't Get Hooked on Me and Stop and Smell the Roses. Then in 1975, after winning the ACM Entertainer of the Year award, his success on country radio began to soar. Davis notched six top ten singles on the Billboard Hot Country Songs chart. Hooked on Music from 1981 charted the highest at number two. He also earned four top ten hits on the all-genre Hot 100 chart. Davis is a member of the Songwriters Hall of Fame and the Nashville Songwriters Hall of Fame. Davis was a real jack of all trades, not just sticking to music, but also had a foot in the acting world. In addition to starring in various TV specials, he had his own television variety show on NBC, The Mac Davis Show, from 1974 to 1976. Davis continued to pick up acting roles throughout the 1980s, 90s, and early 2000s. Some of his most notable stints were on King of the Hill, That 70s Show, and Rodney, nailing himself a spot as one of 12 promising new actors of 1979 by Screen World Magazine. His most recent acting credits on IMDb include a role on Dolly Parton's Heartstrings in 2019. His friendship with Parton didn't just begin in 2019 when he played in Dolly Parton's Heartstrings, but trails way back, writing several songs together and even toured together in the 1970s. Parton is one of many country artists who called Davis not only a colleague, but friend. Artists such as Travis Tritt, Jake Owen, Lee Greenwood, John Schneider, and Kenny Chesney took to social media to express their emotions over losing the songwriter. Quote, I met Mac as a young artist just starting out on my journey, when he was already a legend and a songwriting hero to me. He welcomed me into his home and turned that tremendous creative light on me. Even though he'd written in the ghetto for Elvis and had so many incredible hits of his own, he made me feel like what I was doing mattered. And Mac, who was a joyous, funny, and creative family around him, never stopped writing great songs, creating music, and inspiring everyone around him. The artist leaves behind his wife of 38 years and three sons, Scott, Noah, and Cody, as well as grandchildren. Funeral arrangements have yet to be announced, but one thing is for sure, he may have physically left country music, but he will never be forgotten. I'm Addison Hager for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching, and as always, thanks for subscribing.